get the skill of the Hoekner and the Melton, your famous five, the Tosher here in America. Can you check on the stories and clue of the school of Tarsing and Huen, Marahana Plain, the Kinder Gold Shacher? We can get the Brach of the Lane, Imrachers and Kibbs, Smith, Johnston, Riley, Turnbull, Agus Ormond, the Shach Garage and the Nation, and the field of the Kutcher get the Figure Hue of Gilead, and the Shach Garage is on the Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around. I love it that your bottom dollar you lose. I met uh, Laurie Riley, Eddie Turnbull, and um, Billy Ormond, and I actually got barred from all three pubs. Like um, I remember, and uh, uh, Laurie Riley had the bowler's rest, and he didn't want any young whippersnappers kind of getting up to the shenanigans in there. So I was flung out of that one by Laurie. Um, and then uh, Eddie Turnbull had foxes in Junction Street for a while. And me and my uncle Jimmy were, had been on the piss one day and we were making a bit of a piss ourselves. And Eddie told us to get lost, basically. And um, he says, you should know better, Jimmy. You're old enough to know better. And take that wee dipstick and F you, will you? <laughs> Billy Orman had uh, a pub in Musselboro and it was quite a rowdy. Um, sort of day out and eventually they said, look, you guys just get out of here. So we did. Uh, so that's quite, a, that's quite a nice hat trick. Like, you know, it's like, it's like Willie Orman's hat tricks of broken legs. Like, you know, it's my, my hat trick of getting banned from three of the famous five pubs. When I was a boy, I learned to play. Fire into the night and drift away. the stops and Harris the Aberdeen defense. Johnston, Riley and Smith go into action again. But inside left Hay breaks the move and clears up field. At the Hibernian end the Dons look for a chink in their opponent's armor. The ball runs out to inside right Yorston who's unmarked. He has a slam but he's way off target. Gordon Smith, I would say, right, the, a terrific footballer, um, very quick, elegant. Bobby Johnson, just the midfield, my dad's favourite, um, great player, it, you know, a real thinker, a great passer of the ball. He added the craft, Riley centre forward, just an absolute terror of a man, you know, just would never stop, very quick, strong. Great eye for the goal, and inside uh, him you had uh, Eddie, Eddie Turnbull. They were a really good player, terrific shot. Um, it was a great foil for Smith. Outside left, Willie Ormond, very quick, um, tremendous left foot. Great goal scorer. They could all score goals. Marshen Katoshak ne skielach eundakse me yoin talent agus buoy. Skielach me yoin yn leinoi se arachun agus diev ar nalape. By theater, you know, famous five of good, and you know, the Kibbs, in the vest, Mary Heat, Runak Vore, and the Ball Cosh and Halapa. Besson, Gordon Smith. You became my word. Gordon Smith drove around in a Porsche. For rest, some of them, the rest were all, some of them were getting buses to train in, but he had a Porsche, and he, he would go to the south of France for his holidays, and he. You know, he knew people like Sidney Beshi, the great uh, jazz artist, you know, so he, and he was a big, fine-looking man, you know, he should have been in films, actually, you know. But toss the clue of Smith Ronishin, or the parse wicked of Yakis a Jalaf to catch a thief, a Ben Rune Kluche and Hartuler, it is in a game, I'm going Smith was a great goal scorer and great player, I mean, you didn't need more of it, Smith, he did score goals. Right, left and centre, he'd put them in any time. And he could hit you with a ball running in like he used to let me run in the box and put them across and I'd put them in the net for him. The face forgives the mirror. Gordon Smith 
He had this flair, this subtlety, this skill. Uh, he just sort of drifted past players, and he had pace, and he had a shot. Um, he uh, he scored five goals for Hibs once against the Atlantic, which was quite a feat in those days. And Gordon Smith go out there, Dasha Haklikis on Club Junior, and now skip a hochje Hibs I guess hearts. And Dachla but an agent a bit in a city again. The first of the five to join the club it was Gordon Smith uh, in 1941. Uh, a Hearts Hibs select went up to play uh, a team, Lucky United's ground, um, to open that. And Gordon Smith, who played for Dundee North End then, as a 16-year-old laddie, um, he, Gordon scored a hat trick, and he took a Scottish internationalist to the cleaners, apparently, like with uh, Baxter, like you know. Bound the J, Vaughan Kergan, Mark and Achskillal, a high hooker on Montrose, Ach Banasha, the Nation, the Ballas and the Rukuga, a Hoshniga, a Clue. He was born in uh, in Morningside, in Edinburgh. It was May 26, 1924. And uh, his mum and dad, my grandparents, decided to move up to, to Montrose, but there wasn't a lot of work about, I think, in Edinburgh in those days. So it maybe it wasn't the best decision, because I think there was even less work, as it turns out, up there. And so my grandfather didn't have a lot of work, and times were pretty tough. And my dad had a pretty poor upbringing. As Joey came, sorry, to have hopes to on any of the papers. Do you know about Clabella, about Fasca the Cria? The story was that Gordon had been earmarked for the Hearts. As Joey Yemshin, but do like Gordon Smith, could you hear the Oka Tain Castle, the Sun Sine gave? A Hamachishin, Shevan, the Coram, Game Darby, a Hlicha, the Nui Hibs, Game Jehan. Hunnik Studic and Hibs in Coram, Agus Rain at Edmund Trosh, Fiaka could get in Yam the Coon and Geisen. Speak a gool of a Katakabug. Bombing in the line of Rayla, Nyonka begat Stickja and the Montrage. The, the chairman and manager, McCartney and Swan uh, and Tom Hartland, got the train from Waverley up, and of course they couldn't get as far as Montrose because there was the, the line had been bombed. The family didn't have a phone, so they phoned the next door lemonade factory, and the guy there said there was a phone call that was a Mr. McCartney from the Hibernian Football Club here to see you, Mr. Swan. And uh, the family were kind of taken aback. A chain for how long have I could entice the hearts? Harusak a chain yearning at the Shonayaksha. A Haganian scroat stick to an upper vrog, who crooked in hips, if Gordon, I gazad, shoe lament trosh, a Hanyakidu. My dad actually got a lift through and met McCartney there uh, and, and signed there in the hotel, the Seaforth Hotel, it was called Hotel Seaforth on the beach. The Shonunta near the Van Gianta, and Smith, I gazad, is the nature of the Nayaluan, his son, a game heart of a show. The hearts. Here can the broken a I was young at the time, and you just, you know, you brought up in these names and uh, Smith and Riley and people like that, um, but they were terrific players. It was a different time then. You know, I remember, like, as a, as a kid coming back from Hamden, and Hibs had beaten Celtic in the League Cup final, and it was like, um, it was, you know, a fantastic game, like, kind of Celtic had Kenny Dalglish, and, you know, Hibs had Stanton, and Stanton dominated the, 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 the game. It was his final, really. Uh, and I came back all excited, and I remember my dad saying to me, like, ah, that team, Turnbull's Tornadoes, yeah, they, they couldn't have lived with the famous five, you know. We have taken ten of them and Celtic as well, you know. So it was like um, it was like that thing that they, they set the bar so high, you know, as a, as a not just as a as a team who kind of you know won the the leagues and all that, and but also as kind of um, a kind of very much an innovative force in Scottish football, you know. It was that sense of innovation and sort of um, and style that was just, you know that that kind of um, set the bar and defined. What Hibs, have, what Hibs have always aspired to, they've not always got there. In fact, very seldom they got there, but that's always been the aspiration, to play with that kind of style and flair. A Smith, Johnston, Riley, Turnbull, I guess Ormond, Ulla could have styled St. Yallanch and Nikhil. I guess Hayat Ulla and Sainig, Le Ferreva Raya, Navana Jared Hartz. It was Willie McCartney that signed everyone in the famous five. 
a well-respected figure with the Harps. He, he left Tencastle under a bit of a cloud, and nobody knows just why, but um, Harry must have seen something in his work with the Harps to think this was a man to, to what do you call it, to join the Hibs. But fair yen a chooch near Milan Chikita, nach buyatid le uye the head of a chig, mer a pay manager. We had a team of contrasts where Bobby Johnston and Eddie, complete opposites. Wally and Gordon, complete opposites. And me in the middle, thoroughly enjoying all the stuff that they laid on for me. So we were a team of contrasts, but they were fitting in great together. And I don't think it was coincidence. I think it's brilliant management that got these guys playing the way they played. You know. Ve Lori Riley, Dara Fair, Yen a Hoekner, Hood, Enyam the Kunan, the Kister Road. Rukuge, and the Tai Hennevad, and the Nunkir Tiuk, Fichitz Hawk, Sky Hokal, a Kutai, the Hibs. Happy Ruyak Leib, and the Hura Coram Pound, the Paper, a Kunan profession, the La Vashech and Jiuk, a Skiat Kathakit, Kluchigan Hibis. Riley used to sprint out the tunnel, you know, it was, it was like a, a young bull going into the bull ring, you know, with the head up, sniffing out the opponent, but he, he, he sprinted out, you know. He was always complaining that he hadn't scored the goals, or oh, didn't he get that ball the right way and all that. But he could play the lad, he could play, and he could battle for his size, just to get towed into the centre-half. Had our Laurie Riley fought out to get the ball to the centre-half, and he was very good. Ferva, Nalu, Hakahed, Naravana, Valla Hawk, Gordon Smith, I used to show us Kenyaka Marha, a stewy game. He was walking along the street when a wee 12 year old kid came up to him, chatted away, and invited Gordon up to his house for tea. Of course, Gordon sort of, what do you call it? He said, Oh, no, no, no thanks, eh? maybe some other time. And the wee 12 year old boy apparently was Laurie Riley. Kinchuk and Riley are the Goy Guan, Kenyaka the Fair, and a clicker than his talent and the ball caution a halapa. When I grew up in Edinburgh, everybody was a storyteller. All the kids in the scheme at Muir House, you know, they were, you know, they picked up for their parents and all. They had the gift of the gab. They had the, you know, the, the storytelling thing. They told stories and anecdotes about each other and about what had happened in the weekends and all that. So I think that's how I became a writer. I was just immersed in that whole culture. A Patekus and Skuligan, Akaro Hibs, clicked a tal and tell a lot of give it a crew are a good car club. It was actually during the war in 1944. He played with a team called Edinburgh Thistle that were run by Hibs' uh, well known groundsman Harry Redding. Uh, so obviously, Harry would deposit the players down Easter Road. And him and a guy called Archie Buchanan played for the same team and they both signed for Hibs on the same day. And, and these days they were too young to be professional, so they still had to come under the, the local amateur team as such, like, you know. But he made his debut as a 16-year-old at Kilmarnock in a 4-1 victory. Fatima's cool the school at Academy in Balkosha, but Riley Kolach the Khorshan, a glazing a skill in a strachan. I always played in the street, but uh, the ball wasn't that size when I played. We couldn't afford a big ball like that in these days. It, all the kids that played in the street played with little balls. So, and you, the bigger you got, <clears throat> the bigger the ball you played with. My dad could afford threepence for a wee ball, and that was as much as you got. But I think it was great training, because you grew with the ball, and if anybody could control a little ball, the bigger the, big, the, bigger the ball, it was easier to control. Jörg Riley Alka Gush has the son of Hutsuid, getting a throw a hit for him, who are the Bullock Maravas Munchen. First match I played for the Hibs away from home as a, a reserve was at Hamden against Queen's Park Strollers. And I ran out into that park, you'd heard so much about Hamden, ran out of the park and I got the biggest disappointment I've ever had. There was nobody in the terrace playing for the Hibs reserves against Queen's Park Strollers. The ball went into the terrace and you had to run for it yourself. Our fatic attack is a big look tight, you know, you're not paying us on Riley Ashkin, a Kuna Dull. Riley was just non-stop. Uh, then they score all these goals for nothing, you know. And they see a lot of people relax, you know, just towards the end of a game where you can hear the you can hear the people whistling for the final whistle, and you can see people starting to go up the aisles away from the game. He says the other team sees that as well. He says maybe they just go slack for a bit. He says it, does, it doesn't work all the time. He says but there's chances of crop up 
when everybody's expecting the final whistle, so they're not paying attention. And uh, that's how he got that name, last minute, Riley. The goals came easy because they played a different system then, and we were on a very, very good side. Everything was geared to scoring goals with the Hibs then, but then we were one of the top side in, in world football. Every schoolboy in Scotland knew the Hibs Ravens Five. Smith, Johnson, Riley, Turnbull and Ormond. It just tripped off the tongue. And everybody, no matter what team you supported, looked to this forward line. It was magical. They played in the W formation with two wingers wide, Laurie Riley in the centre and Bobby Johnson and Eddie Turnbull uh, advancing wing halves or inside forwards. All in all, they, they, were, they were a marvellous team. As the ball comes into the centre again, Yorston hits. Skipper Horish, Jervach and Bell at Farfish. Smith takes a free kick for the hips. Buchanan heads, and it's a goal. The final score remains at one all. And now Aberdeen and Hibernian get ready to meet at the replay. I know for a fact the whole team couldn't get down here quick enough before training. They had a game, I think they just called it shuttlecock, um, of their own invention. And when you got into the dressing rooms, we had a, a, a net, a, like, a, like a tennis net, across, and we played with a shuttlecock. And if anybody got in the road, when you, and this was in the changing room, and if anybody came in to get ready for training, get over oh, there, better road, we were playing here, you know. And uh, oh, training was super. Most of it was a sprinting, like, and a running with a big heavy balls, like, you know. But I used to always have to take tumbles. I used to only run one halfway around, and they'd say, you run another half for me, Ogie. I said, just lob on there and they come past you. And I used to run around. It didn't make any difference to me, like, but he didn't like to carry it twice. He didn't like that bloody big ball that he, he could play when he was on the park. He used to like to put the clog into people, man. He would fight when he played against Celtic and teams like that, like, you know, he liked it. Va mist kishin the Haaland spirit skipper agus me an bunyig na eshin play the hard retro elsen a kebs kun a waju. That post-war team, you know, the, the the famous five team has kind of shaped what the, how the club sees itself and how it would like to be seen by the world. There is an aspiration to to have that kind of model of of um, getting good local players and bringing them through, encouraging them, and you know, sort of getting to a kind of level of success for them. I think that's uh, that's almost a model for a club like Hibs, you know, and I think that um, that style of football has just become, is, is so almost impregnated into the club's DNA. Be Eddie Turnbull and Trace Fergan a hoek near the Hanneke Hibs, I guess the day is to get boys to win it, the cost of the two is in the heart of the league that's here at the end of the game. Slachtange, a good guy on your hand, is an accord you agree to keep the road. For me as a little girl, I remember he was always smiling, he had a lovely smile. He had wavy hair that used to go back like that. Um, and cuddly jumpers. Tight jumpers weren't the thing at the time, so they were voluminous and cuddly. I don't know that he would be best pleased with that description. Eddie Turnbull, cuddly, maybe not. But that's my childhood description of him. The first game Turnbull played when Turnbull came and played, but he came on. As soon as he played on, she said, you all go there? I said, yes. He says, well, whenever you get the ball, you give it to me. I said, all right, can you score? He says, yes, if the opening's there, I'll put it in the net. And so he did, he scored the first two goals. <laughs> and it was all right after that. He was always all right with me, Turnbull. Stochen achro nian edi a tig sin gyro yin fian a shechtri. Ach fa moch a gach yi gyro rutig yn sorig jy tachar chymig alora. I do remember 90 minutes being an awfully long time when I was a little girl. It seemed to go on forever. <laughs> but I also remember it there was an air of excitement about coming to a football match. Va veo lachs in the ash in a loop of loch taich, she had a crinoch in a meal chin of hind and talent in the cover the fark. You know, I stood in the terrace and watching these players, and I was in awe of them. When you edit the Hoyers Nachmeni and the Balapic Karen Shire Fashke the Nicholas Verk, 
va talent hori jackers and kel achlichige push na bear le hasen the glazing is skilling le paul of the geno a shell fetan near get the hell strength get the vama a key the scholar kata hanay a karam a key the nasarche kesefaki taram va tri play in the riches the clickers on fourth rangers and the year manager hebs willie mccartney karam brindish Rene Vraad and Tlia Connell is trying to get each other. I guess my passion, you think I have three hips, have you? Give me a try, Alex. His big brother accompanied him down to Easter Road, but he was born in Eddie all the way. He said, "Now don't you dare sign anything." He says, "There may be more offers to come." But Willie McCartney, the shrewd Willie McCartney, he kept feeding the brother and the whiskey they were talking, and at the end the brother says, "Ah, you better sign it." Pushing Eddie Enyam Yahin, Mark Wicket at Crua, you the Fatke, Agustoch and Achrashin Unu, Lishin Tokalavake. Took a lot from the ethos of the mining community. Um, you worked hard and you were not frightened to work hard. Uh, it made you a man, you know, he's, he was big on a man's man, and um, there was a lot of camaraderie in the mining community. And that, I think, equated well to the camaraderie in football as well. You know, in your team situation. Um, then he was in the Royal Navy during the war and that had a very profound effect on him as well. But Willie Orman na amas a choic na chlúteach sa jauch gubeit at the hibs peg at the hon. Da vil an ocht. Seem gama suarach as on talent cho prísial. Rukhi Willi Sinyaklis Vrach gaius na aukana chlichas on Gardoch Juniors. Kolloch di Turnbull gita san na rehile va hedavish chokki sa chanoloch ruyel e chai moch aga a chlichas in Stennis Muir. A san a kibs a chosni gaia chlu. He always said that when he was at school, the teacher used to say to him, Ormond, your brains are in your feet. That's all he wanted to do, just out on the streets with a, a ball and his friends, neighbours' friends. Scanker a willy a tosha hoo cliche, and the high halaga for lovely hibs. So skip a coach, she mochel, get in a skill and accusin, a jera root of a year. Bahain, it a goy guan kuchuk, and yam of the kunam. He'd have been over the moon, I think he was over the moon. He, he just lived, breathed for football, you know, he really, that's all he did was football, thought about football. He was just very proud to play um, for Hibs. W Willie Orman joined the Hibs just a few months after Eddie, like, you know. Um, he had played with Stenhouse Muir and um, again he was a pacey player, like, you know, one-footed apparently, like, you know. Uh, but very, very fast, very clever player, could score goals. Willie Orman, the wee quiet man, but Willie was uh, was a, a, a winger who loved to cut in and really hit quick shots across the face of goal. Orman was a good player, he was. He was a tough little sod, Willie. For a Willie Fatter, costing a clue to the end of the fight, I guess in short, the Dunya Vaughan, but a harsh hold lower, Urm Hortshach had Ed, I guess far in the path. I don't think my dad had an enemy. He, he was always helping people and like when he come home during the day from the football and that you'd have the neighbours kids knocking on the door. Well he would come out for a game of football um, and just we'd go out and play with them you know down the links for a game of football and this is Christina I never forget where you come from always remember your roots. Get the bay a choikner chluja chashing sedavachus the hibs e the fatke, but cool tight large of the chacucha could have a stay a club, but had a here, the vachachia left bunyak through a hain. There must be lights burning brighter. Harry Swan was probably the main player behind the, the, the formation of the famous five. He got reinstated back to the, 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 the board again in 1934 as chairman and the first non Catholic to sit on the board of the Hibernian Football Club. Uh, which is quite something, probably. Harry Swan w was the main man. Uh, he was called Mr Hibbs, a uh, man ahead of his time. Haskielach Anasach, Mendoes and the Hook, Harry Swan, carges the Hibbs. Well, uh, uh, he's a leather, always was, been and has been a leather. He had little Johns, the 
Baker's shop in Leith Street. I think once he got that established, and he uh, was looking for other things to do, you know. At that time, he was going uh, to football with his brother-in-law, that was right. And he used to go week about, uh, one week to uh, Town Castle, one week to Easter Road. So um, he, he went this day and uh, it was a, a derby and he said, well, whichever t team wins today, I'm going to support. And it happened to be his. I clear still of the club. Get a Kuchik lesson and never fell a gag and a quick at them. Well, I, I was always polite because he was the chairman, like, you know, but Riley used to always say he's always playing with his balls. And I thought, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? This is when we were in the railway station. I was walking along with him. He says, Are you playing with mm -hmm. And I stopped laughing. And then we fell on the bloody railway laughing, like, and I said, You're a bloody idiot, you. The Avakas Nata of Ankata, Ahva Urum, the Hilt in the Harris one, Gahua the Hesigas and Jomar Chisaki. He had tremendous, tremendous respect for the chairman and the managers at Hibs when he was a player. Tremendous respect. He thought they were exceptionally good at their job. Um, they guided the club successfully and just had the utmost respect for them. He had this uh, vision. He was so determined uh, that they were so low and in such dire straits that he was determined to do something. If he was going to support the team, it was going to be a good one. Can you check out the Dunya Lears and the Havana Harris one, the Molly Solish, see if you can get a chance to get a school of school and not just a PLA? Bobby Johnson. Physically, I suppose he was probably quite an unlikely looking um, footballer because he was quite short. He was five foot six and um, I don't know when my mum and I had our high heels and we'd be towering over him. <laughs> When he was 18, he was only five foot four and a half when he joined um, the army to do his national service. And his chest size was something like 34, so he was very slight, um, which you don't really expect of a footballer. Um, but then as he matured, I think he, he, he broadened out. The catalyst for Hibs Fortunes changing would have probably been the signing of Bobby Johnston. He was signed again at, uh, in 1946, no long after Eddie, but it took him three or four years, just a youngster. He was playing his uh, very successful third team, then the reserves. It took him a long time to get into the first team. Oshik Bobby Egg Roch, Marahula Duvo, Era Hanik Vahul, Achenyamal Balkosha, and the Selkirk. His mother was from Elston um, in the borders originally, um, but his, his dad was from Selkirk. And his dad um, was a good footballer himself. He played for Selkirk, um, his, his dad, and I think his uncle did as well. He's one of five, he's got four sisters, so I think he was sort of, he was the middle one, but he was kind of spoiled because he was the only boy, his mum spoiled him. <laughs> All the other girls are supposed to run round after him, you know, when he was getting ready to go to the football on a Saturday, they'll be running round getting his boots, getting his kit sorted. In a fact, you could have been Bobby Johnston, a fellow of a gentleman, Riga, and you and Yella, so you could snum on them, so you could click it and Gian. Great pass for the ball, great awareness round about him. Um, and I think even opponents would recognise that fact. Um, he was an outstanding player. There's something about Johnston. He had that. I think he had that kind of guile that just made the rest of them tick. He was a kind of, in some ways, along with Smith, he was the kind of brains of the operation. And if Bobby go out of Hibs, a clicker is on Selkirk. But K not to get the check against the school. It has to do with the creation. Yarkishin Kata and Nurahai Gidam is on Shidavish Nash and Tisanaram, Skayakutka Yovel and the Somerset. A plan of kids is on fine chimichelation, Kata. Get that big food is to get fine of ash. We had to drive from Yeovil in Somerset all the way back to Edinburgh, no motorways. It must have been a nightmare at 18, you know, trying to find your way back. Hibbs had had a word of the army and said, Look, can you get him closer to the ground? So they managed to get him posted to Edinburgh Castle. And he was a staff driver out of the castle for two years and could still carry on training 
with the hips, you see, in his spare time. So I had a bit of a cushy number, really. Get nachro kusekje, me opa the zoot that is another, who get boo in a go yard a chain. So he was always getting trouble mind in the army because he was always walking around with his hands in his pockets. <laughs> bit of a rebel. <laughs> As Joey here at the end of the Queen of the South, by the way, the Skippy and Nella are in Belgium, and the Shakomas are in the back of the Queen of the South, and the Queen of the South. On the pitch, the, 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 the interchanging of the passing and the, the knowledge of the game and the, of each other's game, basically, was quite amazing. Very naturally done without any coaching. They obviously did it instinctively. They would be one of the first forward lines to interchange positions. In these days, you usually stuck to a position and your defender would be sticking against you. But it wouldn't it be unusual for Gordon Smith to be on the left wing and Eddie Turnbull on the right? Smith, Johnston, Turnbull, Riley and Gizorman. You always knew the famous five meant something more than a need in Blyton book. You know, it, it had a different significance, but it was a, a catchphrase, if you will, or, or, or whatever, that meant something special. But how does this clue cost me a pain in the took our chief league in Halapa and the day he's a hawk? I was very sorry to have seen the Sun Club of our three, the match of Humalas League, Jake Blee and the Ronishan. To win the league, you would say you have to do it over the season and whatever you, week after week after week through the winter and the, and it's true. And he says it's the best thing you can ever do is win a league for any, you know, team. And to do that, with, of course, Hibs hadn't won it at that point for many years, uh, and it was an amazing st start of something incredible for Hibs. It was, you know, as it turns out, but um, amazing uh, feeling he, he had from it. Get no professor to look tight to the canal. Gather his Smith and father can shun over the sewer the Hibs. We beat everybody, I think, and I think they were trying. We did play really well, eh? But that two per nemar of a John, I guess, had all which still of a kiss of kids, do not a court of the highest machine. Taking some of the lads back to my house to meet the family. We're walking down the road and you open the window, shout, You, you bloody turncoat. I said, It's all right, ladies, you're all right. <laughs> and they're all okay, they all knew me fine, like, you know, and then. And one of my best pals lived in the road, and he shouted, Shut your face up! He came out the least, and it was me. He shouted all these women, Will you shut your face up and get in? He beat that useless team of yours today. <laughs> good fun, they had a good laugh. Harold Lina, oi, how mad the year when the Nyachtri Pal cautioned the Halap of the famous five. I speak of yesterday, I could look tight, Jeeva a favour, and I look at here at Yem Conlag, and oi, Nithsdale Wanderer said, None of the last thicket, Yen a Gipling. Look here, Jerk, take it to Nui. Look at Norson, a here at Yen Fapisher, and now Queen of the South, a Keister Road. I guess for Toss the Vonk, like a Lochtaik and Norson, got a Rutik and Sonrisha, his father. Well, Willem McCartney got the late famous five together uh, in the early, well, late 40s. But by the time I got there, we, Eddie Turnbull and Gordon Smith and Laurie Riley were already, already there, and then Bobby Johnson was signed. The team spirit then was very high indeed. In fact, I would say this was the main asset why the team did so well. He always said, like, when the five played together, he always says that nobody, they were brilliant, you know, great, no one could beat them. That was probably a one in a million chance that that would happen, that those people would come together at the same time, um, at the same place, and to all be from quite a, a small area. When you think about nowadays, all the teams that you look at, there's so many international players and for them all to have sort of been born within a few miles of Edinburgh, it's, it's quite amazing that they all came together at that, in that one era. It's not, it's not easy being green. You seem to blend in with well, I think they were special, weren't they? I mean, absolutely special. They had a wonderful talent and there wasn't, it wasn't as if they were earning great amounts of money, you know, and, uh, and they just seemed to enjoy playing football. It was wonderful. <laughs> something the way you move, something the way you move, with you on bed. Had you enjoyed your skipper guitar? I guess in the day, he and Van Sheen had a little hearts for Kutrima, and I said about his hips. The hips forward line and the defence were almost like two separate units to do their job. 
ba un am fysach cytrwm o'ch gen y choi cynnyr gyro chor yn y sgipa y llan yn nain i ddrwad a ddi. You see, we couldn't do very much if we didn't have such a, a, a great defence. Someone like um, Augie at the back, for example. That's right, aye, John Ogilvy, aye. Great, great players. But it's, uh, <coughs> it's like Eddie, Eddie Turnbull used to say, you know, uh, there's uh, no point buying a nice uh, umbrella if there's a hole in your wellies, you know. So he, he knew how important the defence was. Have a Bobby Johnson tolerance, I think he used to feel a little bit sorry for the rest of the team because the focus was on the five of them. And it still relied on the, you know, on the other six members of the team and they were kind of ignored a little bit, you know. They still need a good goalkeeper and you still need a good defence to and they, and they, they must have been a bit put out because they were still part of the same team, but the, the focus seemed to be on just the five of them. It was about the players and it was about um principally these five guys and their interchange and passing football, you know, and um, and they had some other great players on that team, you know, they had great defenders. They were no slouch defensively, even though I think the joke the famous five guys would say was, like, how many do we have to score today? You know, how many are you clowns going to let in so we know how many we have to score today? When some people come up to Edinburgh at that time, I say, if you see him, do you want to know anything about football? Just ask, <laughs> say, do any of you know the famous five? And they'll just tell you. <laughs> Smith, Johnson, Riley, Turnbull, Norman. They'll not tell you my name or anybody else's name. That's the name you'll get. That's the team everybody knows. Animals can rot, when a clicky dan has the first J American. There was an anecdote about Eddie Turnbull getting into trouble, but I think he was quite often getting into trouble for leading the others astray because he was a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> a trip, some trip to Aberdeen that they'd had, and they were supposed to get the train back and they didn't. Something along those lines. And uh, he, he, the manager here had threatened Eddie that he was going to uh, tell his mother about what he'd been up to. <laughs> Eddie had been away in the, you know, he'd been away in the war in the navy, and he's like, he says he was going to be frightened of his mother getting to find out what he'd been up to. Har o fata kas ar o skipa imir ag sin a dhlíoch an a chiat hicht le cibs hocal an a nú chiat díog daich is a hoch. A chay sclaoch a dhéas solas le neach ba a manager Willie McCartney bregiri na himirch. I remember my father recounting it latterly, you know, and it did have a profound effect on him. I think he saw him. I don't know if you'd say as a father figure, but certainly as a very influential figure, um, someone who he had the utmost respect for. So it was a big issue for him when he unfortunately passed away. Get of a pass, Willie McCartney, in a vuli vor, gonna skip it. Hey, can you click it down? It's in a hilda, kabuanach. He died on a Saturday afternoon, but they gave them the kind of the. the determination and the kind of push to go on and win that league that season. You've got to have felt that Willie McCartney's death would have shocked the players and it must have given them a, a, a new sense of purpose just to go out there and just make sure, let, let's win this, let's win it for Willie. I don't know if you want to be a manager and you want to be a manager, but I don't know if you want to be a manager. A guy called Hugh Shaw, who had played in the two cup finals in the 1920s for the club, well, he stepped into the breach, led the club in the last few weeks to the league championship, and actually to this day is still Hibs' most successful manager because he won three league championships under his tenure. Hugh Shaw was a nice man, like, you know. When I first started here, he was uh, the manager, I was just training in there on the Tuesday and Thursday nights, but uh, I don't think he had an awful lot to say to these players, you know, other than announce the team. Uh, these players knew what they were doing, you know. Players are as good as that. Uh, you just, they just need a wee bit of guidance. The rest, they'll do it. In my case, and Chael Hibbs League, so I think they're not going to get a point to get the Rangers. Could that Keith Fickett is Shia Tulls in Yimmerchen, which a famous five a fine Keith Fickett you. A novel in the Dias Kita, Hilly Gichicht Ladash, go Easter Road, a Dara Tourist on the Tree Plena, I guess at the Puniki League, a Nunola Jirk in a Gipling, Nunkia Jirk, Lake Sahun. The Keith Gemmik in the Dakel, the Nath Kinyak, a big croon, the Chilly Gadash go Easter Road, sat the Kadroik a skipper Chloe, Keith Gunyari.
Winning, winning the title would have, would have had a great impact on the club, the supporters and everybody. Um, because in all the years from 1904 when Sir Lanark won the league to when Hibs won it in 1948, it had only been won once outside the old firm in all these years, which is incredible. That's when Motherwell won the, the league in 1932. Um, so it would be a, a gigantic, gigantic uh, thing to, to, to happen like, you know. Part of Ruth Ingen to Giano, a fisic in the bookies, Skibby Hibs or Larcher. Machin, her wet duly gave Torchy Luchtai, Jalach de Gujedekic. In the pubs in the, at the time when we played, they used to lay bets. They'll say that we'll be playing any of the local average teams and they'll say, right, we'll give you three goals a start today. Just to try and get a bet, they had to give three goals a start. And more, and more often than not, they won their bet. Let's just skip it at all for Nerst and Nerst, for Kyrs and Leeds, just at the bell glass. It's moaning Jay Good to give you the fathers and hips. I like that kind of big green expanse that you had at Easter Road. You know, the Dunbar end. You just felt that uh, you felt you could just you know you could just walk out into the Highlands. You could walk into this kind of big sort of free, fabulous space. You know, and it just seemed to be such a fresh kind of vibrant sort of um, place. You know, uh, to to watch football. You know, the whole area and and. Uh, and it was it was a, a kind of um, by that time I think with the with the, with the success of the the famous five in the sixties teams and the seventies teams the way they played football um, that there was a kind of you know there was a a sort of identification of Hibs and Leith was really embedded that time. Hagag start the chadar and na heis and asmoa the pinyaki jicht le nu yla chia kena gipling liket siga. It's going to take a shock to the clerk who has the number of the But it's a clock in the car. It's a clock in the car. And it's a clock in the car. It's a The fact that they won three titles. Uh, was just unbelievable because un, un to, up till then the titles had never really escaped from the clutches of Rangers or Celtic. There were other teams from time to time, but to this uh, dominance of the old firm being broken at that time and being broken by playing good football and uh, you know the, the quality of their play, uh, it really was remarkable. And uh, everybody really enjoyed it. Can you check on a Pelin Ingen to have a show on the Nyachtri Hibs? A Haganian Skirot, the Jeet Legleg, the East, Baun Dua Shivahas Kashechne, Safalak in your love with it, Kupin Halapa. Hibs were playing Aberdeen in 1947, <clears throat> and I was just 18, and I was listed in the 12, the name 12 players. And unfortunately, I, was, uh, I wasn't really ready enough, I wouldn't think, in that age for the final, but I was the one that didn't play. But the fellow that did play, a fellow called John Cudberson, played in the position I would have played. He was the Hibs best player that day. So there was no way I could have done any better than John did. John scored in the first minute. Unfortunately, Aberdeen scored two goals and took the trophy to Aberdeen. I don't know if you have any hips to stay in a year course, here in the Hoopa, and a lick at Sahoon and Oit Topper Namar, so you have to stay trying to get out of the league in a stride of days. If you have a ballot, you have a long rig, you have a lot of people who are going to get out of the hips. I was walking up the road, you know, saying, OK, how are you? I said, All right, go easy on us on Saturday, and don't want anybody else to get hurt. I said, I'm not hurt any of you. I said, If you try to score a push, then you will get hurt, but I won't do it. And again, Dulich, for fear, Groch Law, and Willie Orbit, and Dulich, 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 well, he went for the ball, right? He, something you, you would never dream of happening, like, you know, and he hit it. Smash. The worst bit you could get in your legs. And 20 minutes later, Ormond came, uh, Willie Ormond, he came off the park. He had just got uh, somebody, he could go to studs in him, the boy. He was only in the hospital 10 days, and I was in about oh, eight or nine months, like. <laughs> I told Smith that when he came down, I was standing there, I said, have a look at that bloody picture. I said, that's, I said, that's ice that's in there. I said, it'd be like a bloody skating pond. With a look at Boring and a famous five and Lau and I at Koof and a Halapa. His biggest regret was not winning the Scottish Cup at Hibs. 
Van Cari si yn y ferch gyta yn yr ond y clychydedd yn y ffat yr yfi ffat, gyfrigedd ydych chwil y dŵr sy'n sgrwa byglewa. Wan si John Ovi come si. He said, well, if he wouldn't get his leg broken, we would have won everything. All the cops and everything else. We wouldn't have get beat with him, did Any one of the five were, were such big, big players for the club that if any of them had an injury, it would certainly have a severe impact on, on the team. Listen, if we wouldn't have played that game at Tyne Castle with that bloody muck on top of the ice, the game would have been over. We would have beat them and beat Celtic in the final of the cup. That's what that happened. No problem. No danger. I can't say that I'm going to be a good person, I'm going to be a good person in Brazil. I'm going to be a good person in Brazil. And I'm going to be a good person who is a good person in Brazil. The big tour, uh, in everybody's mind, it was in 1953 when they were invited to play in a, a eight-team tournament in Brazil. Basically teaching the Brazilians how to play, sort of, um, how to play football. I never got over the fact it took me 35 hours to get there. <laughs> a very, very tiring, tiring tour. And uh, I believe when they got there, they were just lying in their beds and one of the hotel staff came up and asked uh, everybody, says, is, this, is there anything you want? To that, Willie Ormond's apparently turned around, exclusive deleted, exclusive deleted. Say, aye, I want to go home. <laughs> The thing that you used to m talk about most of all, with nothing to do with the football, was about this young boy at the hotel who shone the shoes. And they, f they felt really sorry for him, because obviously from a poor background, and when, when, they, when they left, they all put the money they had left into a, like, a kitty and gave it to the shoeshine boy. <laughs> so that was quite generous, really. So now I'm who to the school here in the Cooper Coronation in the Celtic. I'm going to go to the school the Cooper of a show. That day, Hibs played well. <clears throat> it's one of the few cup finals that the team that... I thought the Hibs played better than Celtic that day. I might be biased, but I, I really felt we played better. We had much more of the game, but we didn't get the breaks round about the goalmouth that you must have to win cups. And Celtic's... Both goals, again, I might be biased, but the bo both were scored against the run of play. And our 2 nothing results looks quite convincing, but we, that was the one cup final that I played in that I felt we didn't get the breaks. But Hal and Sonrich are the famous five. I guess by Turkey, it's more than just one. Get down into the hole, and you're going to get a new name. Berlin, I guess, by the way, is the best one. A good career, I guess, and him. And the next three club, Balkonsha, the Bernian. If you ask a Celtic supporter, they would tell you the Lisbon Lions had that magic, and in their own way, Hibs had that magic. Different era, different time, but football fans would recognise it. And Steen obviously had this massive kind of drive and influence and all that, but the synergy of these 11 players coming together from that, that sort of uh, small location was a very, very strong thing. But, um, but Steen, had done, Steen had done incredible things at Hibs briefly, and then at Dunfermline, you know, as well. So, I mean, he, he was kind of... Um, he was this kind of phenomenon, and you've seen what Ferguson had gone on to do. Whereas I don't think that um, I don't think the, the great Hibs team had that kind of thing going on in terms of management. It was all about the players. Clicked at the Nahuda Machanas and Club of Atlu with the Kirchen, said the Romes signature looking at Bashkara. As a father, it was, it was just my dad who played football with him. He was just lovely, a lovely man, basically. Hibbs meant everything to him. He was so proud. I mean, he had the, his, his medals and that. My mum had all the, the medals, she had them on her bracelet, I always remember that. Um, he was just so proud. He was proud to be connected, you know, with Hibbs and playing with the famous five. Every Every club has its kind of heyday by which it measures everything. You know, the, the, the bar's kind of set on that level. And everything, you know, up to the famous five, everything at Hibs is going to become subsequently a disappointment. You're never going to get to those heights again, you know, or, or it's going to be very, very difficult to, to get to achieve that again. But you're better having something to shoot to than having nothing to shoot to. 
fun of our famous five chus at the Vachal, Harawana Unu, Kujach Urp and Yiano, Kusant Halag, if I love. Haya Kibbs, Sidon Jewel, Kusant the Gavati Tedak Shirvo, Manchester City, the son Bobby Johnston, and the Yakit Sakoik. Certainly, it was, you have got to think it might well have been the start of the, the end for the Great Hibs side anyway, like you know, because if you look back at the record, there was a, for that day on, there was a gradual decline. I'm not sure uh, whether there was frictions um, at Hibs with the management, um, and they just decided it was um, time to make a move. I don't even know whether how Manchester City were interested in him, what, what approach was made, how that came about. Um, but he could, for all he was reserved and quiet, he could be awkward as well. He could like dig his heels in if he wasn't happy with something. You know, like the hands in the pockets, business in the army, and like he was always really devastated. They never got a testimonial because he moved around quite a lot and because he hadn't been in one club for a really long time. That was a bugbear that he never actually got a testimonial. Eden Gasuas, my Russian brother, my Bachor, the Valkosha Brazilian, and the Lissachig, the game I can tell you, Sean Lollap, the Kassan, the Hibsek Mulachasolas, Quakafis, Jail, a Buringa, the Holland, and the Hast. I speak against the Vakalochtaich, Gerot Jedi, and Lean Inundachshun, and Yemish in Kakan. The last time that the five would play a unit, and just similar to the fans not appreciating when they watched the Queen of the South game a few years earlier that this was the first appearance of the Magical Five, they'd be totally oblivious to the fact that this indeed was the last time the Five would play together. Johnson didn't go for another month or so, or that, but uh, I think Laurie Riley got an injury, so the Five never played again after that, like, you know. Get the famous five mere will you could have found you famer Molly, you know, could you get a carry to Harry Swan? A good Amazon and Gale, because clubs said of a hell of a hookal, the Vacomas are a cheat on a glare. Well, he must be a bit of a legend, that's all I can say. Makes me very proud, yes. I uh, perhaps didn't appreciate it at the time, you know, but I certainly do not. Agus Bíl, Ache Sonrich, Ache Chóich na Chlúdioch, and Famous Five, Ache Bernian, and the Nechtri, Val Cosha na Halapa. Many years ago, I watched Gordon Smith running up the wing here, keeping the ball up in his head, and he kept it up six times. Now, it was a bit of a credit to Thirlanic, who didn't hack him down. He was allowed to do that. Nowadays, I can't see anybody being allowed to do that, but it was something I've only ever seen once in my lifetime, and the supporters still speak about it yet, the old supporters. There's not one person, as I said earlier, that, that said, oh, he was mediocre or whatever. He's just held in such great esteem, held in awe by players from kids, uh, families, now from youngsters to 100-year-olds who actually saw him play. I mean, so I'm very proud to be, you know, associated with him. Hoshik Triach Gordon Smith and the Ravashi Aplanjiuk, Achmaskudiga, Huich, Vigas, Chicht, Lenavinik, Hanavanya, Kibbs, Achak Harts, Agus, and Jay Kujuk. A Kibbs, Marfarsk in a famous five, Hook at Tea Chichtlan, and Selene is Sedavachilla and the Nyatria Club, a good tea heat, Shiskat is Kay at all. Can your Cheku not be Runak Yalrachavan and the Nirmals Balkosh in a Halaka? Laurie Riley was the ideal person to spearhead the individual talents of the other four. But Riley, a click is on Edinburgh Thistle and the Hanajako other hibs. Kaya Uchka and a Daik at Sakaid, Sapi Ruyak Le, Miss Jewishin, a Bunyak Tree Chichlan, Sukud Dahir, Stahir Karikatol, Le Ochjir Katrick Naluib. Kuri is on hibs as a lapper, Hachis Jirka Ned Laurie Riley at Savis Bow, Gavrepagan the Legion. I remember the first time I heard Bill Shankly's quote of some people think football's a matter of life and death, and I can assure you it's far more important than that. Well, that summed that up. That was just, it could have been him that said that. That was where it was. Football came first. Everything else came second. Big boy Varen, I think Eddie Turnbull at Hibs, could you? 
Be hiert chwichit ad och utöl och sen skippar vrittnar och när fan kus jordar. Har sin jag tri chichtlen och just kudde en tölk gaun i dag hiert och en kid hiert schäftets kid gäm. Klugger och just kumarker. I think Dad will always be a legend. Uh, he's the road as a father, as a man. Uh, both of them fantastic. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better in a dad. Uh, I miss him terribly. Um, he was just, he was my hero. Big Willie Orman said of a child, my manager, like St Johnston, Skipper Marshington, Halapa, Harks, Agus Hibbs. Fae Clea, the famous five of Benyuk Tree Chichtelin, se crinach o ciaid ceir ficheid sech tool as gafapis. Gwyd chi gwaith o bi, haad o cynach agio yn y niach drwy bawl cosio na halaba. I used to go and stay with Bobby at the time. And when he died, I, funny enough, I, I didn't even knew there was something really wrong with him and I phoned up and it was his... It was his is one of the, the girls that his daughter said was looking after him, like, you know. And I said, how is he? She says, John, you're too late, he's died. I, I couldn't have nearly broke my bloody heart. He was a great man, Bobby and I, and he, he came to play with Manchester City, you know. And uh, we, the guy who had the Revy plan, play, he played with Leicester. He was the centre forward, and he left and went to Sunderland. And Bobby was playing up there, and he, and he absolutely tore us apart, he did. He beat us. Then he come back and he says, can you get me into the list? And I said, well, I'll ask him. But the, the, the manager was gallus. He was a bloody school teacher. He should never have been in the game. And I asked him, he says, oh, no. He said, I've enough for you without having him, will you? <laughs> well, there you are. That's it. At the way Clucha at Manchester City, with Bobby Johnson here at Clucha, there were two of the hood and the dark horse here enough to cook in the FA as Joey Hale. A Kibbs, hushing at Da Hichtel, my farch in a famous five, I used to get here at Shea Geoch Tool. Curry, Bal Kosha Illa. I still miss him. I mean, it's 14 years, but you know, you still miss a person. You see all the old pictures and everything. Proud of him? Very. Mm -hmm. Maddy Clue of Famous Five, Kashiri Buon, Hana Holanat, the Kriya San Smith Hibernian, a Hakeshjan, the Function Gibra, Hagriya and a Jarsigi Lija, Sunun Doyadish. Clubs now are the, you know, they're almost like the bastions of neoliberalism, club sport, media, all kind of combined. But uh, if you see that as something that's going to last forever, you know, then it's, you know, it's impossible to imagine another famous five. If you see that as a kind of paradigm in so social and economic life that uh, could be coming to an end, then maybe it is possible to imagine another famous five.